שלום לכם. כמה פעמים הייתם עדים Canada and Israel have been allies for many, many decades. And by the work that Sija does, it brings together all the shared values that Israel and Canada have. Standing up for Israel means standing up for human rights. It means standing up for freedom of speech and for ensuring that basic human dignities around the world are respected. Sija is really anchored in all that is to defend the aspect of human, to defend also the social relations that are found in different organizations. Sija helped me with everything I needed and provided me the tools that I could then use to take a stand and speak out against the injustices that I'd seen and faced. There's no place for prejudice in Canada or anywhere else in the world. And we can do that only by engaging with each other and making sure that we focus on our common values as opposed to what divides us. Sija is an organization that is credible and is philanthropic and also embracing the value of diversity and inclusion. Sija is our advocacy arm and they are so important for the work that we do. Advocating not only with government but also out there in the broader community. Sija stands up for minorities across Canada who all share the same values that we do as Canadians. Sija runs a lot of missions because the objective is to build friendship for the country of Israel. The media tells a certain picture and story about Israel, and when you get there and you actually experience it, it's very different than what your perception is going in. We take people from all walks of life and we introduce them to politicians, academics, business people on the ground, delegations of Palestinians, really to try to paint a picture of what daily life looks like within Israel as well as the challenges faced by Israel as a country and, and it, of course its people. What I found interesting is the dialogue that went between ourselves and the Israeli entrepreneurs. They want to share what they know, they want to work with us, there's great opportunities to build new businesses. Canada can benefit, Israel can benefit, and the world can benefit. How do you really leverage a diverse community so that it is really inclusive? And I think we very much have had the opportunity when I went to Israel to talk about precisely some of those priorities and how we can learn from one another in making sure that we are creating the type of culture that we want to experience and we want our students to experience on our campuses. Canada and Israel have such a great relationship with one another, which has yielded 1.7 billion of trade among those countries in 2017 alone. Sija nous permet de créer ce contact entre humains, entre cultures, qui doivent se rencontrer pour construire un monde meilleur. Cette relation, évidemment, est beaucoup plus que commerciale. Il y a vraiment des valeurs communes. Sija is dealing with a variety of issues and a variety of policies at a variety of levels, and there's room for everyone. The work that CJA does is truly a call to action for our community here in Canada, and most certainly in Israel. Que ce soit au niveau scientifique, que ce soit au niveau technologique, que ce soit au niveau entrepreneurial ou économique, les contributions du CJA sont énormes. CJA is an investment in the future of Canadian Judaism and of Jews around the world. Si vous avez envie de vous faire une surprise, venez en Israël. C'est pas ce que vous pensez.